All right, sweet. We are live on Facebook, but I have to go over here and exit out. I've been I've been going live on Facebook with these, and then it, I I hear myself twice. <laughs> oh no, yeah, you, you know, that's not good, man. I know. I'm still learning technology at the at the the prime age of 38. But hey, everybody, I'm here. I'm back with uh, Curtis this year uh, again for our 2022 IAFNR conference. Uh, Curtis is one of the big brains behind Ref Reflex Pro. And uh, yeah, man, we're so excited to have you back. So thanks so much for being a part of IAFNR this year. Yeah, it's a pleasure. We really, we really enjoy doing events like this, and especially with this Facebook Live posting. It's a, it's always a joy. And um, yeah, I you know I just learned about Ref Reflex Pro last year, uh, chatting with you guys. I've actually seen it in a couple of clinics that I visited, um, but I've been working in the orthopedic space mm -hmm. now, transitioning. So this will this will most likely be a new product in our clinic coming up. So I'm excited to get my hands on it, man. Yeah, it's uh, it's certainly scaling, right? We have um, well over 200 clinics now that are utilizing Reflex and Reflex Pro as part of their you know daily drivers for pupillary evaluations, and um, we've serviced over 30,000 patients at this point, and uh, a database that's accumulating rapidly, but it's about 90,000 or it's over 90,000 tests now that we use to support our services. So yeah, we got a lot going on. That's amazing, man. And how how did you guys get hooked up with the uh, the functional neurology community? I guess you would say it was kind of a serendipitous to some degree you know we we originally since our technology is so concussion prevalent um we originally thought okay sports has to be like the right spot for this so we were thinking you know athletic training sports med docs and physicians in that realm and they went well you know like we have other things that we use but there's no standard protocol and then said, all right well, let's listen to the market and figure out who's adopting this and it turned out that um, functional neurology was was just like rapidly taking it up under the radar, and we we thought, oh, there's something there. And we found out that you know you guys go through very specific coursework surrounding this. You're quite knowledgeable around how um, pupils interact with the brain, and it, it just seemed like a perfect fit once we figured that out. So we've just been working in this space ever since. Yeah, I mean, you know, for us, we when I was when I went through the program, the neurology program, um, one of the ways that we used pupil measurements was just to determine, you know, that the health of the state of the person's autonomic system. Yeah. Were they were they doing okay? Were they fatiguing from certain or specific exercises? Kind of like a, a good gauge for us on what their brain status was at that point in time. So to have it measurable and objective, that's huge. Yeah, it's critically important. I mean, it's it really is the check engine light for your brain. Um, I think, you know, we, we like to display this as a neurological vital nowadays because we honestly do believe that it's something of that sort where um, you can use it to just get quick assessments, much in the same way that you can have, you know, uh, systolic and diastolic measurements for blood pressure to, to get you information. Now, you may not get the whole picture, but this gives you very good information about, um, you know, that check engine sort of thing. So it, it's useful in most practices, and we're just now starting to see quite a few other what I'll call it customer demographics or other professions that are picking it up um, and you know audiology and neurooptometry and general optometry like and neurology in general um, they're really starting to grow an appreciation for why this is important it's awesome man um, for people that aren't familiar with the product can you just kind of give them a, a quick background are we talking about a ton of big equipment here what, what, what are we working with no man as you know as you know, we we think that accessibility is by far and away the most important thing nowadays. Um, you could go buy today a piece of capital equipment, a piece of hardware that can do what our technology does, but it will do it um, in a worse way because we've objectively quantified the deviation between the two and we have a better reliability with our particular product. And it's gonna be about 10X more expensive and you have to hold this piece of equipment and carry it around with you everywhere you go. How we operate is we're on an iPhone and an iPad. Um, our regular iPhone service with no iPad is called Reflex Standard, um, or just Reflex for short. And then the native iPad version is called uh, Reflex Pro. And this measures uh, the pupil's modulation as a response to light. Now we do have no light options in there as well. So if you wanted to do some nifty cool things like uh, playing sounds and seeing how the pupil responds to that. You can also do that with our product, but we are a 
a generally accessible pupilometer for mobile phones and iPads that requires no additional hardware. Um, and then we have that pro service that has a lot of additional features baked in like automated detections and uh, uh, in-app trending and reflex telehealth, which you can send tests remotely to your, to your patients, which is a pretty cool feature. So we have a lot of bells and whistles in the pro service as well that is uh, quite, quite above and beyond what a general traditional pupilometer would be able to do. Yeah, man, that makes all the difference. Um, you know, better technology and also um, better functionality for, for the clinic space. So, of course, uh, of course. Can you uh, can you touch on? I know you know. Last year when we talked, um, you had mentioned uh, some of the research um, that validates what you guys are doing. Uh, can you tell everyone a little bit about that and also like where the research is going with your group? Yeah, I mean, we had a massive publication uh, come out last year by a third party, and it definitively proved that reflex is a biomarker of concussion. Um, and it specifically outlined a few parameters that uh, we report, um, such things as like min diameter, max diameter, maximum constriction velocity, and you know thereafter, there's a few others. And there is uh, additional evidence that was discovered this year that corroborates all that information that will be published. Um, so not only have we had a third party evaluation with a population that's over 20,000, which is insane. Uh, yeah. that, that's two orders of magnitude higher than any other pupilometry publication that we know of. Yeah, that's no small pilot study. <laughs> no, no it's, it's, it's stellar. And then we have the, the follow-up study done by a different group that proves the exact same stuff. So it's just validating piece of information, but it's quite important because we want to ensure that we are uh, maintaining that level of precedence with our technology. And you know, you'd mentioned uh, uh, that research, but we have uh, quite a few other things that are going on right now. So um, we were selected as the highest scoring concussion technology per the the DoD backed um, uh, study that's going on for overhauling their concussion program, and uh, that was against i won't name them but uh, other very top for performing and um uh prominent concussion technologies in the marketplace and we were the single highest scoring piece of technology they evaluated so now we're part of a clinical trial uh that will be with 1200 soldiers over the next two years uh with that dod backing so if it's good enough for the dod it's good enough for uh for everyone else and <laughs> <laughs> On top of that, we had um, we have a collaborator that we've been working with for quite some time now called OPA, and in, they jointly went through some research and had a thesis published uh, that was tackling you know what do we do with optimizing the recovery aspects of um, the the opioid epidemic and these people that are really suffering from this particular problem, and they found that reflex was a very strong predictor of withdrawal, like a very strong predictor. So we're excited to see where that goes and how we might be able to help um, this terrible thing that's been you know, ravaging society right now. Yeah, man, that's amazing stuff. Um, who'd you beat out? <laughs> I can't tell we'll, we'll you. Talk, we'll talk off camera. camera. Yeah. But if, yeah. if you could, uh, if you just list them all off on one hand with the top five, all of them. Congrats, that's huge. It is I mean, huge. I mean, for us, you're a newer company. You, you, you came last year, but how, how long have you guys been around? I mean, so technically we got our start back in 2015. Okay, it's that's, still, that's still fresh, man. It's still kind of fresh, but it's your classic dorm room startup. Oh, startup. I love that. Yeah, and we, we, it took us a while to figure out how do we bake this, com this very complicated computer vision style technology into a mobile phone, because all of our processing is done on the phone. We don't send it to a server, um, which means that you can use Reflex in the most remote parts of the world. And uh, it'll it'll give you your results just fine. The only time you need a data link is to store that data into our HIPAA compliant servers. So um, yeah, it, it took a while to figure that out because it, when we first did this, it took 15 minutes to process a five second video, and now we process a five second video in about four seconds. Wow, On, yeah. Dude, that is insane, man. Yeah, we're we're great technologists, and it's not me, man. It's it's our team. Our, yeah. Our team's, uh, the, the ones that really put the magic in and made it work. Teamwork. I mean, talking about some of the numbers you mentioned earlier, you know, since we spoke last year, how many clinics are you guys currently in? 
Working yeah, yeah, we're well over 200. I think it, the the numbers push in like 220, 230 at this point, and that number's growing pretty quickly. Yeah, people are starting to recognize the 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 value of having this as like a, a baked in test that you just do regularly with your patients. Yeah, I think you know, getting pre post uh, you know physical exam assessments, pre post therapy assessments, like, and this is just something you can you can use on a daily basis. Is that correct? Oh yeah, definitely. It's um, we recommend it to be used, you know, as often as possible. It gives you, it gives you kind of a, a living uh, piece of information, so you can keep track of your patient's uh, recovery and and to see if there's anything that's off in their treatment or even optimized treatment in many circumstances as well. Awesome, man, and uh, pretty easy to to navigate through pickup. It's it's not it's not a difficult app to. Games. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very easy to use. Um, like, we, we, we try to make it in line with all other applications that are available, even though we are a registered medical device. Um, and, you know, you should only be a, uh, a licensed medical practitioner to use Reflex. Uh, we still try to make it as simple as possible. There's no point in overcomplicating it. Uh, the only thing is that, you know, it, it is a data-heavy app. And it should be, that's what you all need. You need quantitative information that shows like, oh, this is what's occurring. But we do our best to provide you information such as like detections and scoring systems and in-app trending to allow you to, you know, get more involved with the data and develop a better understanding of it. So I'll say that there is a bit of an educational gap that you have to come to, but it's not very big. Sweet, we'll, we'll be able to pick it up. I'm yes. excited, man. Um, yeah, you guys are doing some amazing stuff. And for those that don't know, if you go to the website and a little um, box pops up and asks if you'd like to ask a question, that is Curtis. Yeah, it goes directly to me. Um, I, I find it very important, you know, as- It might be happening right now, actually. You might yeah, be- Yeah, it has. Oh, that's happened on many occasions, uh, <laughs> many interviews. Uh, I think it's very important that, you know, as the executive officer of the company that I have direct access to the customers whenever they have, um, you know, any sort of question or problem or, uh, you know, increase in knowledge um, thereabouts that, that they'd like. So I answer those directly and it's very important to me to ensure that I have that, that close contact. So I know what the customer thinks of Reflex because if we're missing the mark, man, I gotta know and uh, all signs signal to this is a very helpful tool. That's awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for being a part of my afternoon. I remember Janice emailed me a few weeks ago and she's like, Reflex is in. I was like, sweet, let's yeah, do an interview. We're always in, man. Dude, you guys are awesome, man. Uh, for for members that are attending the IAFNR conference this year, you guys put together a very gracious um, package last year. Can you tell everyone a little bit about that this year too? Yeah, yeah, we are um, doing a promotion where uh, we have two versions of Reflex Pro. We have one with telehealth and one without telehealth. And if you recall, I mentioned Reflex Telehealth allows you to send patients remote tests um, so you can take them at home. So with telehealth, that's $1,200 per account per year. And uh, you get a free iPad Pro with a two-year commitment. Still paid yearly, but you just commit for two years. And that's that iPad Pro, I believe, is like close to a $150 value, something like that. So, you know, it's it's um, a pretty robust little deal. And then we have the secondary one. So for people who don't want telehealth, um, if they commit to two years for Reflex Pro, no telehealth, that's $800 per account per year. And you get a free iPad mini. Awesome. And and all you really need to run this is, a, is an iPhone, right? Yeah, all you need is an iPhone. Yeah. There's some added features that you get with the iPad that are very helpful because we have additional screen real estate that allows us to manipulate the app in a very beneficial way. Um, but it's certainly not required. You can do everything that you can do on the iPad version. You can do on the iPhone version in concert with the web app. And there is a web app available. I should probably mention that because it's quite useful. I just spoke with someone this morning and they went, you have this? And I said, yes. And it's a great analytics um, dashboard where you can really dive into patient data. Oh man, that's awesome. Dude, free iPad Pro, free small mini iPad. That's amazing, man. Yeah, and the, the iPad mini that came out last year and it's the first one that had the flash. So that's why it's a very useful little little uh, guy now. Because <laughs> it's nice, you know, it's, it's small, but it's not as yeah, small. I prefer, 
I would prefer to do this on an iPad. Just like you said, I have more screen real estate. So. Exactly. But dude, yeah, we're so excited to have you guys back. Thank you so much. Um, anything else you want to touch on? Got some great research going on. Amazing product. Super awesome promotion. We're very grateful for that. And yeah, what else? I don't yeah, know. I mean, I just say just to close out, um, if there's anybody who has you know, any additional information they need or any questions about the technology and its efficacy or how they would like to implement it or use it in their practice, reach out. I mean, we we love our customers. We do our best in order to ensure that you're well serviced. So, uh, you know, we'll take the time, as much time as it needs to help you out to get this involved in your practice. Thank you, man. That's so awesome. And just so everyone knows, Curtis and I were supposed to be on at 8.30 tonight, but we both got in trouble with our wives. So <laughs> that's why we're here right after lunch with you guys. <laughs> we can both enjoy our beers later there we go yes yes and and happy wives yep. <laughs> all right well everyone we'll see you at the i after conference Chris. if you can hang around for one second and course, uh, catch you guys later thanks so much man no problem